Right, Johannesburg Emergency Services are urging residents to be extra cautious this week as temperatures are expected to reach the high 30s over the next few days. The South African Weather Services have uh, also issued a warning that most parts of the province will see persistent high temperatures until this weekend. Uh, let's discuss this then. We're now joined uh, via Zoom by Johannesburg EMS uh, spokesperson Robert Malawzi. Thank you so very much as always for joining us, sir. Oh, good afternoon, Flo, and uh, afternoon to the viewers. All right, let's start here then. I mean, what are the do's and don'ts, uh, you know, uh, during what is being called now a heat wave, bearing in mind the fact that, you know, our previous story was talking about uh, the fact that there are some water shortages, and I would think that one of the do's is, you know, to stay hydrated and where you can, uh, you know, be able to dip into mm. water <laughs> of sorts or, you know, refresh yourself in some ways. Um, so what are those do's and don'ts, Robert? Yes, um, we're encouraging our residents to uh, stay hydrated and also try and avoid, uh, you know, direct sunlight, especially between 11 and uh, 3 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. That's where we have extremely, you know, hot uh, temperatures. Uh, those uh, people who are working directly with, uh, in the sunlight, light, we encourage them to, you know, take regular breaks and uh, drink a lot of water so that they stay hydrated and also uh, the our um, residents mostly who are mostly elderly who are on medication mm. uh, when it, we have uh, extremely hot temperatures like this um, we encourage them to stay indoors so that they are not exposed to uh, you know this extremely hot temperature just because in heat cramps and so are mostly elderly. And of course, as for the uh, concern for us as the city of Johannesburg emergency uh, services is mostly the young kids or the young children. Mm -hmm. Now that we know that it's school holidays, uh, most of our um, informal settlements throughout the city of Johannesburg, they normally have river streams or dams which yes. are across those uh, as uh, informal settlements. If you look at uh, areas like Alexander, there's Jack's K. If you look at uh, uh, Ivory Park, uh, there's also Calfontaine River streams. If yeah. you look at Clip Down in Soweto, there's also Clip Valley River stream, which is across there. Mm -hmm. So we normally have incidents where young kids will be tempted to go and play and try and swim in those areas. Mm -hmm. So our message is that uh, let's discourage young kids to go to those areas. Instead, Let's encourage them to visit our, uh, <clears throat> sorry, our, our. All right, we seem to be struggling with uh, your line. Uh, I'm afraid uh, we're struggling with your line there. Um, let's perhaps try to get you on a better line, um, as I'm sure um, uh, South Africans would indeed want to hear what you have to say there. Um, we'll try to get him uh, to continue that conversation with us at a later point. We do apologize for that.